Guys, how's it going? So in today's video, we're going to do go over how to tie a bow tie. Now, I totally recognize there are a ton of these videos out on the internet. Uh, most of them suck, however, just because they don't really explain some of the details that go into the final parts of tying a bow tie. Uh, the hole that's created in the back, some of the different pieces that are created towards the end of the process that are really the hardest part. So just jumping right into it, um, let's get started. First things first, you need to adjust the bow tie to your neck size. This is easy. Just check the sizing on your neck, uh, your shirt I should say. It'll say a number kind of close to the tag. It'll, mine says about a 15. I go and look for my 15 on my numbering system here. This is the more, most common type of bow tie you'll find out there, this hook and clasp system. So again, I'll look for my 15. Oh, I found it right here. Um, understanding though, my, my shirt will probably increase the, the material and the fabric will increase the, you know, the circumference of my neck. So good to just add about a size, you know, half a size or three quarters of a size up. So for me, I'll do 15 and three quarters and uh, just pull it tight like that. So all you do is take that middle clasp, this guy right here and find your slit. Mine again, mine was 15 and three quarters, put it in there, pull tight. Other types out there exist, but the probably the second most common is, is the one I have in my hand. It's got this metal adjustment piece. Um, pretty simple. All you do is pull out for more slack, push in for less. Uh, mine happens to be perfect the way it is. Um, and it's really a set it and forget it type thing. You, you put it in there once, you're pretty much good for, for a while. Left side, longer than the right side. Now you all also notice, if you have a metal clasp, bow tie like me, you put the metal clasp on the right side. You want the metal clasp as far away from your knot as possible, uh, just because you don't want it screwing anything up. So again, metal clasp on your right side right here. So then when you got that done, pull down your collar. You can keep the collar up, pull it down, it's up to you, it's your preference. Again, light left has to be just slightly longer than the right. Once you've identified that as being good, go ahead and cross over. This will be step two. Step three would be to take the right, tuck it underneath the neck hole, and pull. Once that's done, take the right side, toss it over, and make a bow with the left side. So I'll just do that again. You see the left here? Take your finger and just pull it over, and it should look like a bow. Really, see this guy right here in the middle? You're just folding it right down the center and just pulling it right to the center here. You want to hold it together with your index finger and your middle finger. Take your right side that you threw over your right shoulder. Split the difference, split the middle here. Now you've created an elephant type looking thing with ears and a nose. Take the ears, pinch them together. Pull down on the nose. Now this is just tightening up the back end here, making a nice and a nice strong knot. And once that's done, I want you to look for the hole you've just created in the back. Because this is, again, this is one of the most uh, overlooked pieces of the process as far as tying a bow tie. You want to know exactly where your hole is, so take your middle, your index finger here, and just look for it. It should be right here. Okay, once you've found it, I want you to take this elephant nose again and fold it towards you. Up and towards your face. Up and towards your face. And make a bow. Kind of like you did earlier, making a bow with the elephant nose, uh, folding it up and towards your face. Take your thumb and your index finger and fold it up and put it through that hole you've identified earlier. Once you've done that, you're going to get like an incomplete looking bow tie. Kind of like the one I have right now. Just so you can see it, you got four pieces to it. Basically a bow tie, just unfinished tying it. You got one, two, three, four. Pull tight. Now again, you're pulling tight on the top right fold and the bottom left fold. You're just pulling those tight simultaneously a couple different times 
until you can get just the right knot. Now the top left and top uh, bottom right, you kind of loosen it up. So you pull top right and bottom left, pull them tight. Top left, bottom right, you pull it the slat. Uh, you pull it out, make it looser until you kind of just keep going until it's done.